in the blue, we have Zuna on Jaina, Soldier on Arthas, Arthalon on Sonya, Kale on Vaughn, and Dreadnought on Uther. Make some noise for Tempo Storm! And on the right, in the red, we have Dust Train on Malfurion, King Caffeine on Johanna, Fan on Zeratul, K1 Pro on Tyrande, and I Dream on Illidan. Make some noise for Cloud9! All right, we do have Tempo Storm and Cloud9 now going to have a small engagement here in the center. And it looks like we shouldn't have any takedowns here just yet. Cloud9 going to go ahead and back up now. Yeah, looks like a nice route going down there on Dunk Train. He's going to have to back up for the time being. Now it'll be interesting to see how they do spread these lanes out. Looks like Illidan and Zeratul making their way to the bottom, maybe looking for a gank down there. In the meantime, Tempo Storm going to go ahead and clear out that middle lane with, lane with ease. Yeah, they're going to be soaking for experience, uh, at least for now. Uh, remember, the first two temples that do appear is in the top and in the center. And oftentimes we see this as a trade. Usually one team takes one temple, the other team takes another. So it's not really until the second phase here, where the bottom temple is activated, that we see forced team engagements. Mm -hmm. That's quite right. Uh, of course, they could fight for it a little bit, maybe some quick rotations getting in there, but also you've got to be careful. If your opponents are soaking more lanes than you and you're wasting time trying to get just a couple extra shots, that could work against you. Well, as you can see now, Zeratul going to go ahead and get that, um, that watchtower, although this shouldn't be lasting for too long. Tempo Storm now reclaiming this. Temple's activating in five seconds. We'll see if there's anything crazy that happens here, but usually this is a more, one of the more tame parts uh, of the game here on Sky Temple. I gotta say, I kind of like this. <laughs> we saw Dreadnought actually trying to get a few uh, free shots up the top before Drunk Dunk Train came in and got rid of it. But uh, it looks like we do have a split temple scenario here, which is pretty much what was expected. As we can see here, the both temples are being activated. This is what I was talking about earlier. This is a map you don't actually have to go to the core to win. You certainly can. You're at liberty to do that, but there's nothing that requires you to do it. You can just stay back and play the map objectives, which means the team that gets behind has a very tough spot because mm. they're forced to either engage or possibly continue to get further and further back. Well, as of this moment, we do see Cloud9 with a slight lead here. Not a giant deal, though. All the members of both teams kind of spreading out now, trying to get a little bit more experience, but it looks like Soldier taking a lot of damage there, just barely getting away. Yeah, I got to tap the well there, so it'll be a little bit longer before um, Arthas will be able to heal up anymore. Skirmishes going on throughout the map here as we're seeing both teams be very diligent about making sure that the lanes are being soaked properly as far as experience goes. A minor lead right now for Tempo Storm, but that could change very quickly with a takedown or two here from Cloud9. Well, we do have Tempo Storm immediately taking these top bruisers. It'll be cool to see. Do they cap it and, uh, right away? I think they will since Zeratul's on the map. You can never know really where he is because he is cloaked so often. And in the meantime, we do have that bottom siege camp being cleared out by Cloud9. Well, this is going to be a solid push up here at the top. You already see the Tempo Storm really on top of getting all these mercenary camps. I believe we do have a, yes, we do have a capture over here as well for Cloud9. But Tempo Storm seems to be just a few inches ahead here from their opponents, Cloud9. Well, the, right now they do have those bruisers going up towards this top area, and we do have Caffeine coming up. Going to help clean that out. A little bit of damage being put on him, but they're not going to be able to do too much near these towers. Yeah, we saw Johanna getting chased back a little bit. No bullets depleted there in the top lane. So these uh, these minions can really just do a ton of damage mm. to Cloud9. That does force Cloud9 to address that issue, which of course opens up more opportunities around the map here for Tempo Storm. Now, really, uh, Cloud9 would have to start their bruisers extremely soon if they want him before that bottom shrine gets up, but it doesn't look like they're going to. I mean. No, they're just passing right through. It looks like their bruiser camp is just going to be left. Zeratul does narrowly escape there, as we see, I believe it was Jaina back there, Hearthstone, um, to try to get some more health here. And this is getting a little bit tough. Right now, it's 7-7, very, very even, but now is the bottom shrine, and this is really where this map picks up. 
Yeah, this in a few seconds it's going to be ready, and that's where we're going to see if these teams are forced to actually engage each other. Indeed, and already we're going to have Tempest Storm getting into position here. Malfurion and Zeratul are a little bit further up for Cloud9, so they're going to come down, but Tempo Storm has that defensive position. It's Cloud9 that has to walk into them. And Cloud9 is going to try to push that level 7 to level 8 right now. Tempo Storm uh, may end up getting cut in half here. Cloud9 to position properly. Cloud, uh, excuse me, Tempo Storm now going to go ahead and push back here. Well, it looks like right now Caffeine trying to push in. We have Sonya up there in the front, missing her Ancient Spear. Has to back up for the time being. Going down right now. We do have Arthas taking a lot of damage down at the bottom. A Blizzard does get whipped there by Zuna, but it looks like the fight is going north. As you can see now, Tempo Storm uh, not able to really get this uh, this shrine down here uh, under their control. Although we've got to be careful because Cloud9 getting a little bit lower on mana here from their heroes. Uh, a very fresh Tempo Storm may be able to come in here and seize the second half of attacks from this tower in just a second. Well, right now we do have Tyrande taking quite a bit of damage. Does have to back up for the time being. Gunk Train coming in and I Train does fall there on Illidan. A big deal. Zeratul having to blink out as well. We have Arthalon coming in, trying to take out Van Van. A ton of damage. And Zeratul continuing to run away here. Uh, but he might actually. Oh, nice. Uh, <laughs> nice dodge there by Zeratul. Taking a quick right hand mm. turn so that Frostbolt would not connect. By the way, level 10 almost up here. And that means Temple Storm is going to be on a pretty serious advantage the next minute or so here. Indeed, they are, but a lot of high health heroes coming down here for Cloud9. Illidan, though, a little bit far out, so they can't fully engage at the moment. And still, this temple is not finished. Just now going down, and it looks like most of it goes to Tempo Storm. Tempo Storm having a lot of patience back there. It was Cloud9 that went on to the temple, but it was Tempo Storm that actually finished it up. Uh, you can really see they did a good job beating out a lot of attacks there from Cloud9, really depleting the mana, allowing Tempo Storm then to go back. I believe one or two were actually tapping the well, but uh, anyways, go back and then re-engage, and then of course uh, force Cloud9 to then disengage in that situation. Well, right now, level 10 was just hit by Tempo Storm, so they have a bit of an advantage right now, but I don't think Cloud9 is going to allow them to actually engage upon them. But Tempo Storm going to go over and steal this siege camp, knowing that Cloud9 really can't fight until they get their heroics. Yeah, this is when you can really bully the other team on the map, is just taking their mercenary camps at level 10. All Cloud9 can do is scramble and try to get as much experience points as humanly possible in that period of time. Uh, but Tempo Storm, great job. After level 10 is achieved, which I think is going to happen in a second here for Cloud9, then they can both engage each other. Then it's a fair fight. But until then, uh, that's where Tempo Storm really gets to abuse this advantage. Indeed they do. There we go, though. We do have that very important level 10 being reached by Cloud9. Very excited to see the next team battle that does come up. The, the next temple should be coming up pretty soon as well. We got some pushing here in the bottom lane. It looks like a possible game with really good body blocking here by the Zeratul. We're going to just so jump the dash. Oh, oh my god! Oh, 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 that, was oh, oh. that was unreal. The body oh, blocks were insane right there. And oh my god, Dreadnought even using on himself that Divine Shield. Absolutely not able to get out of here. And it looks like Cloud9, after that pickup, will go after the boss. And Tempo Storm in no position to contest. The boss will go down as the shrines will activate. This will be an incredible push here in bot lane as oh, Cloud9 man. could possibly even split and take both shrines here. Oh, they, they might be able to with that boss up there. Just so much damage all around the battleground right now. But it looks like I Dream gonna go up and try to deal with Arthalon. Sonya doing a great push here on that top four. Zeratul coming up as well, seeing if he can get in on the action. And it looks like they will lose the top four. So a nice small victory there for Tempo Storm. Yeah, Tempo Storm making a lemonade with lemons there. Uh, they did manage to push in that top lane a little bit despite a pretty tremendous advantage as far as uh, the map's been going here for Cloud9. Boss almost hit, yep, there it is, taken out just now. Yeah, it doesn't quite get that bottom court, so a good save there by Tempo Storm, who, by the way, still has a slight advantage as far as experience goes. Right now, walking in, Dunk Train, uh-oh, a little bit out of position, it gets blown up in a matter of seconds. A great move in by Tempo Storm, who now steals the temple. Yeah, and with Tempo Storm having both temples, the infrastructure here from Cloud9 is going to be chewed up pretty quickly. Cloud9, I mean, that body block back there was sick on the Uther, but mm. overall, Tempo Storm is really able to uh, maneuver through the flow of this game 
and keep engineering comebacks and advantages. Yeah, they've done an absolutely fantastic job of that. And, you know, they're doing a great job still soaking all over the map. Cloud9 now down a couple of levels. They'll start to catch up here in a moment after they clear out some lanes. But Tempo Storm are really showing that they want that game five. And I think there is a high chance we will be going to game five. Now, check this out. They're setting up. Oh, spotted. They, uh, they were setting up for a possible trap, but uh, really hyper vigilance from uh, Tyrande there with the Owl, just making sure that they always are able to check the movement here of Tempo Storm. Well, right now, Tempo Storm rotating up to the top, and they know that Fan is out of position via Shrink Rain goes down, and he tries to save himself from Void Prison, but a beautiful root and a kill. Yeah, that is not exactly what you want to use Void Prison for there, but uh, he just had no other choice. There was no way to really get away there. Uh, we do have. I believe what's going to be Johanna, yes, coming in here from behind, uh, attempting to make at least the threat of a potential sandwich up here, possibly making Tempo Storm then maneuver back a little bit. Yeah, Tempo Storm does end up backing out. They don't want to overcommit here. They've got the advantage. They've killed off all of the forts of Cloud9 already without losing any of their own. So they're doing a fantastic job. No reason to throw that away. Tempo Storm now going back, level 15 to level 13. Just cleaning up any available map objectives they can. You see here, the Siege Giant's going to be used to push pretty heavily down there. Cloud9 sneaking up. It looks like they had somewhat of a... No, that's actually a spotter, excuse me, not an ambush. But they're setting up, and now they're going to see, will Cloud9 Cloud engage? No, in fact, Cloud9 goes ahead and backs up, rotating to the upper uh, east side of the map. You know, this is tough. They're making a gigantic push down in this bottom lane. We're going to have four Siege Giants pushing the lane, and in fact, all of Temple Storm going over there as well, maybe clearing the path for them. Well, this is a very solid push up here. Cloud9 and not able to quite come up with much. This is really a game of little victories here uh, by Temple Storm. And speaking of it, we're going to have a big battle coming up right now. Dream gets taken out in a matter of seconds. King Cap being taken down as well. A Tempo Storm pushing now onto the keep. Oh, nice stun and a root onto Mouth. He falls also. Fan comes in. Too little, too late though. All at once, Tempo Storm goes for the jugular. An insane push here uh, with four Siege Giants moving through the south. Top lane is softened here for Cloud9, although I do question how impactful that will truly be in this game where a complete opening in the boss lane for Tempo Storm has been created, giving them uh, unfiltered access, if you will, to the core. Well, you know, Tempo Storm has done a fantastic job taking out that keep, having it. Look at this, now they have both temples. They may as well be Temple Storm at this point, taking down these other keeps quite a bit as far as health goes. As you can see, guys, we've had people voting in. 63% of you think that Cloud9 can take it. Although it might be tough to do it in this game, but hold up here. We have Arthas actually in a lot of trouble right now. Good VP down there. Uh, and, and you can see Arthas just narrowly escapes. A good engagement by Cloud9, but they didn't seal the deal. They didn't get the takedowns they needed. Yeah, that army of the dead doing a great job there for Arthas. In the meantime, we do have Fan jumping in. Nice ice block going down on Jaina. A nice route on Illidan. Illidan blows up in a matter seconds. King Cat being taking a lot of damage. Arthalon in the chase. Jumping ahead right now. Going after Tyrande. Sonya still in pursuit over here. Another takedown there. Uh, as Johanna is no more. Mounting up as Cloud9. Retreating as quickly as they can. In pursuit is Tempo Storm. Tempo Storm going to go ahead and clean this lane out while finishing off that Temple. An absolutely fantastic engagement. A one for two trade. Something Tempo Storm would love to do for the rest of the game. Well, with these temples in control, um, any more fights that occur here from Cloud9, I think if they lose, I mean, that's just the end of the game. We have to go to game five. I mean, this map will end eventually, as, you know, the longer it goes on. Uh, you can't have two teams playing defensively. One eventually just gets on top of the temple, and there's just nothing the other team can do about it. This is interesting. Cloud9 actually going to try to sneak the boss in here. Remember, if they can carve their way through the bottom lane, the rest of the infrastructure for mm. a Temple Storm wouldn't matter. That, that might be one way they can make a comeback. Now, uh, let me say, we don't have Starfall up and we don't have Void Prism up. So if they came in right now, they might be able to stop them. But Cloud9 bursting out of the spot so quickly. We see their own thrown out by King Caffeine to stall them out. And bam, they get the boss. A risky play, but it pays off. Cloud9's boss is going to push through the bottom lane. It's level 19 to level 60, so this is a pretty incredible uh, difference right now 
as far as the strength of both teams. Cloud9 though, with the boss in the front, tanking damage. Looks like they're very interested in possibly pushing through here and cracking the fort in the bottom lane for Tempo Storm. All right, well, Cloud9 finally gaining some edges here. Finally gaining a small advantage, but they're eventually going to have to go back and clean out those lanes. The catapults are pushing them, and they only have one keep left. Tempo Storm as well, we should point out, almost at level 20 for those Storm Talents. Yeah, for those Storm Talents, it's going to be a very tough battle there for Cloud9. I do like the capture of the Siege Giants. Problem is, is the top lane has pushed in so far. Cloud9 having a Hearthstone back home and clean up this mess. Yes, indeed. Going to have to clean up all of those bruisers in the meantime. Also collecting the Siege Giants down bottom. That's going to slow down the Catapult push in that lane, or at least keep Tempo Storm down there for a moment. So, a nice play. Tempo Storm cleaning up some of the problems that Cloud9 has created for them. We have the Center Temple about to activate in roughly 20 seconds. So let's see if Cloud9 can maybe engage here. Level 20 just now uh, reached here for Tempo Storm. So it'll be a tough fight for Cloud9, not impossible. Yeah. But if they do win here, maybe they can hang on. Otherwise, they're going to lose that uh, shrine and they're going to lose that decor probably as well. Yeah, it's going to be a very tough one for them to take, but let's see if they can do it. Caffeine taking some damage there. Arthalon coming around for the flank. Trying to get on top of everyone. Fan taking a lot of damage. And we do have Dream going for that Morrisis on top of everyone. A beautiful divine shield on Arthalon. And you see Illidan now on the run right now. Good formation here by Tempo Sir. Cutting up the team of Cloud9. Our first takedown has it. Zeratul does fall. K1 Pro looks like he'll be next. The shield goes for the out on the butt. It looks like Arthalon does secure the kill. And growing up everywhere is Cloud9. One hero remaining. I think they can pretty much finish this game <laughs> however they choose to fit. I think you're right about that. Looks like Arthalon gonna go for the core right now. Dump train, the only player left on his team, but Arthalon is going after it. And the core getting so low, there's no way with the death timer this long. It's going to be a win, it looks like here. Even taking the tower, Cloud9 started this out with a 2-0 lead. <laughs> we are now going to 2-2, going into game number five. The Tempo Storm has won. GG!